Hey y'all, I'm super excited to be sharing my 2018 monthly planner setup. The first thing I want to mention is that this does not have weekly pages in it. This just has um, a month monthly views and some other things that are added in here as well. And I did that mainly because I really want to focus on budget and I really want to focus on my monthly overview. So I'm going to show you guys how I set that up to make it more simple. So these rings and this hardback book is from Michaels. The rings are the extended rings. Um, the hardback cover is that both are from Create 365 or the Happy Planner. Pretty everything in here is by the Happy Planner, so I should just mention that right off the bat. I have a um, little insert of sticky notes, and then I have two pockets that are inserted. The first pocket is for receipts, and the second pocket is for stickers and anything else on that back side that I want to use. So the second thing I want to point out is that I have two tabs per month and I have a six month layout here. So I have two tabs for January, two tabs for February, two tabs for March and continue. So the first tab is going to be all about like my to-do list and my um, monthly work stuff and my monthly personal stuff. And then that second tab is going to have everything to do with my budget. So what I did was I purchased the extension packs for budget and for like your monthly view. I don't have to go back and see exactly which one, but I'm flipping through it now. So this is just an extension pack with um, like it has a to do checklist plans, focus on. And then, of course, it came with that monthly sheet as well. Now, I want to also mention that um, they were not numbered. So the monthly view that I just showed was not numbered. I put those stickers on there. This is a habit tracker, so this is new, and I thought that would be fun to kind of circle in. You can see I did not do good with my 6 a.m. wake up for my first two days. Um, but anyway, so I, we're focusing on my 6 a.m. wake up, scripture, reading every day, um, taking some apple cider vinegar every day, and then um, I'm going to look at what days I spend and what days I don't. So this is kind of neat. So for every month, there's 31 sets of to-do lists so that you can every day make a to-do list, which I thought was really cool. And then if you flip, there's just some note pages and then some ideas. And then this is budget review. So this is where my budget part starts. And I put this at the front because I wanted to kind of look at that um, month at a glance is what I'm really using. Now, I'm not showing you like all of my personal information. I'm just showing you a blank one, but I have filled out the one for January. And uh, maybe at some point I can do like a mock one or something. But basically it says like what your income is, what extra income is. And for me, for my husband, he gets paid the same every month. But for me, my months change. And sometimes, well, obviously sometimes I have extra income. Um, and so what I'm trying to do is like really budget based on the lowest that we could possibly make or not possibly, but kind of at the lower end so that I can at least budget for if the month isn't as good as like another month. So here is kind of a look at what a monthly spread would look like. This is just a mock one. I just, and this does actually have real bills on it, but um, I didn't have on my like actual monthly view for my budget, which is the next tab over. Um, so it has November. Obviously, I'm way far in advance. I'm not really going to use this. But for my actual one, it has like a lot of more personal stuff written. So I didn't really want to share that one. But this one has um, lots of different stickers that have my bills and my paydays and all of that. And I'll link everything down below because those stickers are really helpful. And I think that they're from Ink Obsessions or like JS Designs or something like that. So I will uh, link those down. And those are print and cut, by the way. Here's a bill pay list so you can track if your bills have come out. And I really like that it's separate than your expense sheet because that drives me nuts. I like I get this thing in my brain where I'm like, I can't, I don't know the difference. Is it a bill or is it just an expense? And so I'm like, okay, if I spend it and it doesn't automatically come out, then it's not a bill. It's, it's an, exp an extra expense. So, and essentially there's groceries and I think Target is written a thousand times on there, but whatever. So expense tracker, you have several sheets of those for each month with the, which I think is really cool. So now we're back to February, the monthly personal work view, checklist, big plans, the to-dos again, um, and then we have the notes pages and then now we're at the start of the budget. So my month at a glance is in the back of these actually, I'm um, starting in February, but I will move my month at a glance to the front, um, once I need it, but I think they come stacked like to the back. And so you'll see it when I flip it over here in a second. So we went through the bill, uh, expense again, I mean the bills and then the expense tracker. And then here's the month at a glance. And then I'll go through each of the tabs because I want I want you to kind of get a good idea of what the monthly colors are and kind of like what these tabs look like. Um, so some of them are, are obviously blank. 
um, a little bit more simple, and then some have some coloring in it as well. And um, again, I mentioned this before, but nothing came dated or with months on it. You, it comes with, so some of the extension packs come with like the numbers that you would need and the months, which I think was really cool. So I'm going to finish up going through this and then I'm going to show you a an example of um, how I did my process for um, my November, kind of like my mock November month budget. And then in one of my future videos in probably in a week or so, uh, maybe before that, I'll share my process for my personal slash work view, kind of like the monthly uh, view of the for personal and work, if that makes sense. So this one is obviously just budget. So it's really focused on money. And um, I like that because I get to just flip to this whenever um, I need to and kind of mark out the bills that I've used and so on. So the reason why I love using these stickers that I'm writing on right now is because they do not take up very much room and I need to be able to put at least three two to three bills in one day, um, since a lot of this is automatic pay. So I um, love using these stickers. They're by Ink Obsessions, and that's either Aaron Bradley or it's JS Designs. I'm not 100% sure, and I'll link whoever it is down below. So what I typically do is I write, instead of sticking the sticker on first and then writing it, I write onto the page, um, the, my print and cut sticker sheet, and then I peel it off just in case I mess up. Um, and then I also have some stickers that came with the budget extension pack, which is sitting there to my left, the kind of the, um, it has bill due and it has the payday stickers and that kind of thing. And then to the left of that are some um, of recollections, some of their new stickers and their planner section. And those are, I loved the colors, which is why I'm, I'm not like a huge fan of some of the recollection stickers, but, um, and I think I'll talk about that in another video because I think, um, they've possibly stepped those up. I'm not really 100% sure, but I had trouble with some of their other stickers, especially because they are kind of like slick and I didn't really love writing on them. But these um, are really a nice texture and they're, um, or I guess they're really smooth, but they're also not, they're not, they're a little bit more matte, the ones to the left, not the ones I'm using now. And now I'm using some little piggy bank stickers from that budget extension pack sticker sheet that kind of came with it. And I'm going to note that I want to try to save, um, on those paydays, I want to save the majority of those sticker sheets. And then, um, on the last day of that month, I want to put a treat yourself sticker. So it's kind of like an incentive. Like if I save throughout the month, then I'll have a little bit of money to spend. If that makes sense. Um, I'm looking for it and I just couldn't find it and then I did finally find it and these a lot of these sticker books are, are new so not new as like uh, I guess I should mention they're new to me so there are a lot of like the mini sticker books that came out within the last few months and then some of them are just ones that I've recently picked up but have been out for a while so you won't get to see this whole process and that's because my camera cut off but you kind of get the idea of um, what my thinking what my thought process is and kind of how I go through it basically I continue adding my bills and then I add a couple more little goals kind of to the side and then the last thing I do is just add a cute little quote and then a couple little flowers and that's pretty much it and I will share a photo of the finished product at the end actually you guys saw that in the other video but I'll still share a photo okay I hope you guys enjoyed this process uh, continue watching and I'll have a plan through video coming up talk to you later bye